Today, I'm excited to talk to you about one of the questions that I wrestled with myself, which is what's the best way to get a data science education? Should you teach yourself? Should you go the Coursera, Udemy, Udacity route? Or should you go get a data science degree? I'll talk through the pros and cons of each. And by the end, you'll have enough information to decide yourself which path you should take. The first path to data science ed education that I'm gonna talk about is self-directed teaching. There's an incredible amount of high, high quality content out there to teach you just about anything and machine learning is included. If you wanna learn how to program in Python uh, or you wanna learn how this particular machine learning model works or you wanna learn how to optimize your workflow using the Numba library, there's a tutorial, there's a video, there's a free course out there that you can take to do so. Let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So one of the obvious pros of this is that it's free or very cheap. And for people who aren't working at a company who will pay for their masters or help them support their school, this is one of the key things that they need to think about. The next pro is that it's efficient. Uh, when you follow this path, you write your own course syllabus and you're able to focus and study in the things that you know are relevant. This is important for people who have very little time on their hands, people with a lot of kids. The other nice thing is that you're not stuck with whatever courses are being offered that semester or whatever courses were gonna get you your degree. You can explore any topic as deep as you want. If you wanna become an expert in natural language processing and you wanna know everything about how to uh, train word to vec from scratch and implement custom transformer models to do interesting things, you can go do it. You don't have to wait for there to be a course at your institution or a course landing on Coursera. Of course, this path comes with some cons. I think one of the biggest ones is that it's hard to know where to start. Unless you have a coach or a mentor or somebody who's helping you map that path out, knowing exactly which topics that you need to study to get into the, the field that you wanna get into isn't always straightforward. It's hard to get that comprehensive overview when you're doing self-directed teaching. The other con is that you need a significant amount of self-motivation. Um, if, if you have no money in the game, there's no accountability other than yourself, you really have to press yourself and be determined to learn these things. So on the other side of the spectrum in terms of data science, machine learning education is going and getting formal degree. Uh, typically this comes in the form of a master's degree, but some institutions are now offering bachelor's degree in data science and machine learning. One of the key pros to getting a data science degree compared to self-teaching is that the process of getting that degree is very structured. So the data science department at the institution is gonna spend a lot of time curating the classes that they think are gonna be relevant for entering the job field. This typically means that degree programs are gonna give you a much more comprehensive view of everything that you'll need to enter the field of data science and machine learning. Uh, another thing that I think is good about data science degrees is that they're typically deeper. Because there is more time, there's more dedication to class, including coursework, you're able to dive into individual concepts deeper than you would typically by yourself or through other means. One of the key things about getting a degree from an actual institution and I think one of the most overlooked is networking. If you have the opportunity to get a good degree from a high caliber institution, you're gonna have classmates that work in all sorts of different companies. Those classmates can be the key to you landing your first data science job or taking the next step in your data science career. The other thing that you wanna consider when you're thinking about this path is that these institutions often have a lot of support for getting jobs, building resumes, and so on. A lot of them build their credibility based on their job placement rate, which is definitely something you wanna look at before choosing an institution. Um, and having access to the support that comes from these institutions can really help you navigate the field. In terms of cons, the first one's pretty obvious. Uh, degrees in data science range from expensive to extremely expensive. Uh, this can be a huge barrier, and if you're gonna pay for your degree, it's something that you need to consider very carefully. Many data science uh, degrees don't have strict prerequisite requirements. They sort of teach you everything you know end to end, um, but some do. 
So the last path to getting a data science education that I'll talk about really fits nicely between the paradigm of self-directed learning versus a full out master's degree in machine learning. And that is doing your degree online with institutions like Coursera or Udemy or Udacity. These courses are often taught by the same people that teach those master's degree classes that we talked about, but at a price point that's significantly more approachable for most people. Typically these aren't free, but a lot of times they're on the order of a couple hundred dollars and something that's totally manageable in most people's budget. One of the key pros in this field is user experience. These companies really live and die on the ability of their students to actually engage with the content. So they work very hard to make sure that that experience for the student is as good as possible. This means that the course material is typically better planned out than what you might get from an institution. Um, and it's also a lot easier to use and a lot of times delivered in a way that's more engaging. The other thing is that these courses are often taught by some of the best teachers in the world. And that means that the content for the students is much higher quality. You can contrast that with going and getting a master's degree where you're gonna get taught by whoever it is that they have to teach you. That could be somebody who's really good from a research perspective um, at making progress in the subject, but maybe who isn't the best communicator or teacher. The last pro is that you can get credentials. So a lot of times these courses come with the opportunity to put something on your resume or post on social media. You know, we talked about the credential being a pro. In my opinion, you know, putting that you completed one of these online courses on your resume isn't that useful. In the education portion of your resume, people are really looking for accredited institutions. That said, you will gain all the skills necessary. So if you come again from a technical background and you are able to demonstrate that you have these skills, it's not gonna be an issue. Similar to self-directed learning, the level of accountability is low enough that you really get out what you put in. So if you are a highly self-motivated person and you don't need a lot of external motivation or the idea of taking that next step in your career is motivation enough, these are really good platforms for taking you to the next level. Uh, if you struggle with finding that self-motivation, sometimes having that accountability of having to participate in live lectures and having the support of the institution can really be the thing that makes it possible for you. Okay, so we've talked about three different ways to get education in data science or machine learning. Which one of these is right for you? So my opinion is if you are in a closely related field to data science and machine learning, let's say that you're a database engineer, let's say that you're a data analyst, um, let's say that you work with or interact with data every day, I really think that you can make the transition relatively easily by going the self-directed path, right? In this case, you might come with some of the fundamentals like the programming, you might have an understanding of statistics, you might already know SQL, um, and all you need is to fill in those gaps. So if you're in an adjacent field, it really is a pretty short jump to becoming a data scientist. You just need to fill in your background in machine learning and data analysis and statistics. This is especially the case if you're really self-motivated. If you're the kind of person that is really goal oriented and has an easy time picking up and reading uh, and learning new things, um, I think that the self-learning path would be totally sufficient. On the other hand, if you're really far from the field that you wanna get in, let's say that you have no interaction with data on a day-to-day -day basis, and you really don't have any ability to experiment with these things yourself, and let's take it a step further and and say that you don't actually have a technical degree, I'd strongly suggest you consider getting that credentialed degree from an established institution. It's gonna give you that background and the structure to take you all the way through the different things that you need. And you're gonna be able to rely on the fact that you have a bunch of classmates that work for companies that probably already do the thing that you wanna do, as well as that institutional support to get you where you wanna go. Now, if the finances are a serious problem, another thing you can consider is uh, a set of boot camps. I've actually run into several people who have done a boot camp and these are typically a lot cheaper on the order of $10,000 versus on the order of 60 to 100,000 for an, an actual degree. And they are really focused time-wise and the goal of these programs is to get you a job. So um, if you 
think that you need the degree route, but you're not sure that you can afford the time that it's gonna take or the financial investment, I'd consider looking into a boot camp um, and make sure that you talk up to the guidance counselor, understand what their placement rates are, understand the agreements that they have with various institutions before you make the dive. And finally, let's say that you're in the middle. You're not in a perfectly adjacent field, but you do have some technical background. Looking at some of the degrees that are offered by these online institutions like Coursera, Udemy, and Udacity might be the right fit for you. Um, in this case, you'll be able to pick your own course a little bit more and plot where you're gonna go. And if you apply the effort, you're gonna walk away with a portfolio that might be similar to what you would get from a full institution, but without having to pay the full cost. I hope you walked away with a better idea of which of these paths is best for you. Um, and if you enjoyed the content and wanna see more like it, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you liked the video, hit the like button.